very impressive to see such a great representation of the amazing work that's being done in the expansive region of the Hudson to the Goose Province. Together, our organizations have many years of experience working with the landowners who live in this region and their land and water resources. The spirit of the Hudson to the Goose Province Conservation Initiative recognizes our shared interest to do this work more effectively and more efficiently as we work across the boundaries that we sometimes think divide us. Parcel boundaries, town boundaries, county boundaries, and state lines. We're harnessing the natural synergies that unite us. And at Westchester Land Trust, we are already seeing the effects of this collaborative H2H spirit in our everyday work. And we're seeing that it's really and truly strengthening the relationships between local organizations and regional organizations as well. Relationship building is truly at the heart and core of H2H. And today we're going to be focusing on relationship building with the landowners in this region. We know that there are many of them, thousands of woodland, individual and family landowners, and we know quite a bit about their forest systems that they own. They store carbon, they clean our air, they provide critical habitat to wildlife, and very importantly to this Project. They buffer the tributaries that lead to the drinking water supplies of millions of people who live in Connecticut and New York. We also know that due in large part to this land's geology, its connectivity and complexity, that therefore their woodlands are more likely to resist changes in our climate in the future. So we have very important land and we have very important land owners. You, walk, you each work with these landowners, maybe on a daily basis, maybe weekly, monthly, or annually. So I want you, for a moment, to just think about one or two of them. Picture them, think about their names, because they're at the root of what we're doing today. Today, we're going to be working together to learn new strategies about how to communicate with these landowners, connect with them, think about what they care about, and try to inspire them to steward these important resources more effectively and potentially take steps towards protecting them in perpetuity. Before we start this amazing day, and I know it's going to be amazing, so look at the agenda, I think it's critical that we take a moment to thank the United States Forest Service, the lead benefactor, lead supporter of this impressive initiative. And we are thrilled that Carl Hunkinen is here from the USSS today, and you'll be hearing from him shortly. But first, we are delighted to be here with our friends at Town Lake Reservation. It's this beautiful facility that was shared with us so generously today. And I hope that you will join me in welcoming Mr. Kevin Carter, T-Town's Executive Director. Kara said, uh, uh, T-Town is uh, very consistent uh, in terms of its mission with the group that's assembled here today. We've, uh, we've been an organization uh, with over 50 years of efforts in land conservation and environmental education. Um, the, the importance now of making this a regional dialogue is something that clearly all of you understand. Um, it's very much in keeping with what we're about at T-Town, some of our uh, programs that we do. We, um, they're very proud of um, LR Environmental uh, Leaders Learning Alliance, which uh, reaches out to town planning boards and helps inform them on important land use decisions. Our Emma program, the one with the girls in Andy like uh, she like program with those matters, um, which is our environmental monitoring um, work that a lot of new organizations that, that are in the room participate with us in that. Um, this is another great example of regional uh, partnership. I'm also happy to say that. Um, I'm one of the rare uh, people in this area that actually lives near the Housatonic River. I'm a resident of Connecticut. So um, the name, the very name of this coalition that's been formed here, um, it's, it's, it's nice for me because it relates to the place I live and work and certainly tells a story about the connectivity through uh, watershed, um, through the environment and the resiliency. I really like the fact that um, that word was mentioned by Kara. Resiliency is something in our environmental education programs whether they're for young children, for adults, for individuals on planning boards, is something that is a really important concept that we're trying to convey um, 
it's not just biodiversity on our preserve for the sake of biodiversity in some novel way. It's biodiverse, a biodiverse uh, landscape ecology is a resilient one. And people are becoming more and more aware of the importance of that as they see these weather events and they witness climate change firsthand in their own lives. So we're thrilled to have you here. Welcome to T-Town. Um, I know there was a couple questions about the, the preserve itself. Um, we manage uh, close to a thousand acres. Um, some of the uh, properties we manage, we manage the trails on some <coughs> county lands as well. Um, it's been a process over again five decades. Um, an initial gift from one family to preserve lands for public use um, of 170 acres, now well almost a thousand acres. So that dual mission of conservation of land, but also environmental education is what T-Town is all about. And during the course of your day today, since you'll be with us all day, I hope you have the opportunity to go over and visit our nature center, our nature store, perhaps during a break or when your work is commenced. Um, so I just want to, I don't want to take too much more time. I'd like to just uh, say we're thrilled to have you here. Welcome to T-Town. And it's also my great pleasure to introduce um, the next speaker. He also has a history at T-Town, the executive director of Miami's River Gorge, um, Mr. Ron Christie. Right. quite a bit today. I guess I've gotten the, the job of being MC for the day, so hopefully you won't get too tired of me. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, first piece of housekeeping, so that everybody knows. Uh, oh, as Kevin said, my name is Ron Christie, and I run the Miami Street Forest Preserve, which is about, again, a thousand acres of protected property, but our headquarters are over in Bedford, New York, and uh, we work with the Miami's Watershed, and uh, we also have a research and education department which works with high school students, undergraduates, and graduate students. So that's a little bit about our organization. You can find us at myans.org on the web. Uh, so a little bit of uh, housekeeping. Um, first of all, um, if you look at the back, there are bathrooms in the back, there are exits, and uh, the food is back there, which is the most important part. Getting old, so I need to put a little bit of uh, coat racks, uh, if you're, as Kevin said, if you're interested in stretching your legs at a break, just out the door of the building next door, there's a great exhibit to T-Town. I was here for a long time, I can verify that. Um, as well as, um, I wanted to remind you that, that we have this workshop here, but we have another workshop that is coming up. We just had a workshop in December 11th that is very successful. It's now on YouTube. I believe it's on the Highstead YouTube site. And this one today will also be on that site. So you can all refer back to it if you didn't come or if you want to see it again. Um, and then uh, we have one coming up on the end of February. We have the 28th of February and then March 1st. It's a two day workshop, and that's the Telly workshop. You're going to hear a little bit about that today from Mary and Emma as they introduce that uh, part of the program. Working with, they're going to talk a little bit about different landowners. Uh, generally, the people that are here today in this audience are core members, partner members. Um, there was a question I think some people asked about whether there were any landowners here today. Well, there may be, but the objective of the people here today is to get to learn how to work with landowners word about, about the strategy that you can use to engage with that. Um, in the back of the room, there's some supplemental information. I think uh, Bill brought some things on the NEPA um, program initiative, and uh, they're there on the table, so you can pick them up. I also think they're available in digital form if you prefer to get them that way. And uh, make sure you sign up. And if you didn't sign up, and make sure you get all your materials, your uh, you have your uh, manual here for the tele workshop that's coming up, and uh, tele workshop, and you want to make sure that you bring that with you when you come to that workshop because you're not going to do another one. Um, and I think I've covered all of the background there, the things that we have to go into. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about exactly what. H2H is. Uh, Kara gave us a little introduction, uh, but I wanted to first look and say what are some of the things that we expect to get from the workshop today. Uh, we are working as partners 
And we are trying to, first, we want to hear again from Mary Ann about Pelly, how those different landowners come in different types. And we want to know what those different types are because the one landowner type is is going to help us to engage with that person, figure out what they like and what they don't like, and how we might bring them to the table to talk about stewardship of conservation of their property. Um, we're also going to uh, remember that the two principal objectives of this program, the H2H -H program, are looking at resiliency, or in terms of resiliency of climate change. We just had the workshop on 1211, which was mainly oriented toward climate change and how we might get some ideas from that, or hopefully we got some ideas from that about how we might engage landowners about climate change. But we're also talking about watershed protection, drinking water supply protection, protecting tributaries, buffers, all kinds of things that were mentioned also by Kara, but those are the types of things that H2H is really concentrating on. Today, this is our focus today, which is on strategies. You're going to hear from a number of very, very expert speakers in different areas, whether it's a woodland forum, whether it's estate planning, whether it's about birds and how birds might engage a landowner. Those are all the types of things we're going to talk about today. There may be some that we don't talk about today. The idea is for you to glean what you can from this workshop. At the end of the workshop today, we're going to have a kind of a Q&A uh, wrap up. And the idea behind that is to you give us feedback and say, what do you need to know to go and work with these landowners? In other words, what have we told you already and what else do you need? And that's really important for us because we have one training coming up and we have obviously meetings that we're going to be able to try to work with you. And this is the point in this next spring we hope to be able to go out there and actually work with landowners and get them to the table.